Hey sports fans, another video. This one is talking about a 2005 Subaru Outback with the four cylinder engine. Um, this project was donated by my good friend Natalie who was also kind enough to video this uh, clip. So what had happened was her husband had just replaced the battery at Costco and then in the parking lot he would go to um, turn on the engine and it would idle fine and then you'd go to like throw it into a gear and and back up and it would just die on you any kind of like excessive load on the engine it would die and I guess the check engine light had gone on he went through this reset process with the battery thinking that you needed to like reset the idle which is also a common issue after replacing the battery I guess in the the Subaru Outbacks but um long ish story short um brought it to me we um took my diagnostic scanner and found a code p0605 yeah p0506 yeah um which stated something to do with the iac idle air controller um was the rpm the engine rpm was running lower than expected um which was probably why it was dying so we went through like a series of uh different kind of battery resets where you um, disconnect the battery for 30 minutes and then you reconnect it um, and have the key to the on position but not started for at least 10 seconds and then you let the car run until the radiator fans moved on or turned on excuse me and um, then you would shut it back off wait another 10 seconds and then turn the key over again and it was supposed to completely reset this this idle well we did that several times and it did not work um, amongst some other things what we ended up finding out and what worked for us so underneath this kind of um, air housing is your throttle body plate it's a couple hose clamps here here a 10 millimeter bolt on the either side to remove this whole piece and then when you get down into your throttle body and I also removed this the MAF I think it's the manifold air pressure sensor and clean the inside of that out but you remove that piece um, and then there's also the electronic uh, harness that plugs into the the electronic control for the throttle body I don't know the specific name for it um, and then a couple of hoses over here I think they're both um, coolant lines um, there's two, one and two. So you clamp those off, get the actual clamps off um, to remove the throttle body plate. clean it out really good and I'll show you some pictures I'll attach that to the video um, reinstall that again clean your MAF sensor um, install that back on and then kind of upstream um, from the throttle body plate on your way to your air filter housing there is the MAS mass airflow sensor this was also significantly um, cor not corroded but like gunked just, up. yeah gunked up and dirty thanks um, so to remove it is just this wiring harness clip to pull it off and then these uh, two screws uh, that screw into plastic so make sure when you go to tighten it again you don't over torque it because it's it's pretty sensitive but you take that out and there's um, just a, a small little sensor in there um, and make sure you use specific solvent it's um, specific for mass airflow sensors um, it's safe for the plastic parts and you won't damage those that way and then of course I verified that the the k and filter um, wasn't overly dirty. It was used, but doesn't need a cleaning. Um, yeah, so after all of that, it started right up, and it's been idling beautifully. It's running like a champ, purring like a kitten, whatever you want to call it. Um, and uh, all, things are good. So uh, on my research between YouTube and Google, um, there was a lot of people who were struggling with this very similar problem. So I thought I'd put together a quick video to explain how I did it. Um, if you want further details um, or any questions, 
post them in the comment section below and uh, I will get to them as soon as I can. Okay, thanks guys.